G'day. Welcome to Partaker's Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday the 19th of September 2011. We have a guest today. Again, welcome back Pauline as she shares some insights with you. Over to you, Pauline. When we are going through a difficult time, it is sometimes hard to believe that you are the apple of God's eye. God gave me a picture once. I asked God what I was worth. God tied a tag round my neck with a piece of string, the kind of price tag that they have in old-fashioned shops. The tag read ten pounds. Then he removed the tag and replaced it with one that read a hundred pounds. Then he removed that one and replaced it with one that had a thousand pounds on it. He replaced the thousand pound price tag with one that read one million pounds. The final price tag simply had one life written on it. I find it mind-blowing that God chose to let his son die a hideously painful death so that I can enjoy a personal relationship with him. That I am so valuable that even if I was the only human being that existed, God would have allowed Jesus to die on a cross for me. Remind yourself of this fact frequently, and you'll get a glimpse of your father's heart. He loves you to bits and is proud of you no matter what you have done in the past. If you have said sorry and meant it, it is forgotten. The slate is completely clean. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. God's love for you is unconditional. God created us with a first to be secure, to have self-worth and to have a sense of our own significance. That thirst is intended to be quenched by God himself, by his unconditional love for us and unconditional acceptance of our work. 1 John 3 verse 1 says, How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God. And this is what we are. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says, We are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepares for us in advance to do. Unfortunately, many of us try and get our security and sense of self-worth from our spouses or parents. Whilst that can be okay if we have a 